on that note, let's just go to like the Quavo and um, Takeoff's albums. So Quavo dropped uh, an album called Quavo Honcho and Takeoff, um, The Last Rocket. And we're still waiting for Offset's album. So that I should be That coming. I'm actually looking forward to. Me too. But we'll see what that has to offer. But um, now that they're all dropping tracks, and I think obviously a label there, other people on the labels are dropping tracks too. It's almost similar to the, the Kanye drop where like everyone on his label was dropping every track every week. week. Yeah, That's what they're kind of doing. That's what I kind of expected um, Offset's mm. album to drop last week or Actually, like this soon. Friday, yeah. Yeah, but um, we'll see when that drops. But um, yeah, so I don't know. This kind of raises the conversation though. Who is the, the best Migos? Because they're all kind of like dropping their solo projects so we can mm. see like how they sound on their own or like their efforts. Um, so in terms of the Quaver album, what I felt about it. So actually, I want like our first listen, I had them. Um, it did feel like what I was talking about. So like, I had m- more songs that I that I just didn't feel like they were vibes than I did. Exactly. Literally, there was like only like two or three songs that stood out to me. And with that being said, as well, some of these songs already dropped before, like Working Me, Lamb Talk. Yeah. Um, they dropped before the album even. Yeah, before. Happened, so I've already like heard them. So sometimes I don't really count them. But then after second listen, I started to like some more. Mm. So I would say it's that middle ground. If I were to give it like a rating right now, I would say probably like a s- six seven like 6.5 ish like in between because of it's starting to get better to me like the more i hear it the more i'm feeling the vibes yeah. but with that said, there's still a lot of fillers i think just because i really i really like quaver in the past so i'm trying to give him that like that thing that middle ground well i have a different opinion of quaver everyone knows this quaver is good on features and that's facts yeah so when he dropped his solo album, I was like, okay, let's see what, what happens. He has 19 tracks in his album. 10 are features. Is it 19? 19. Mm-hmm. 10 are features. That is a lot about your body of work. Is that a solo album? No. Over half of it is features. Over half of it? <laughs> it's features. Yeah, 19. Jeez. That's crazy. If I put, if I put Quavo on the feature track, like Ultra, let's, let's, use, let's use Ultra Jack, for example. That album was fire because of Travis Scott. But Quavo by himself sounds like you know when Quavo is rapping, you expect like Offset to come after afterwards or yeah. take it to camp. It can't. It, there's no Quavo by himself. He can't do it its own. He can't do a full track by himself. I mean, it has a few songs that are good, but when you drop a 19 track project and five is good, bro, that's a problem. I know, like literally, my list is five, but I I, can, I get what you're saying. That's a problem. You can't say the it the Beyonce of the group when it can't really function he's by the, itself. He's not saying, but actually, he, he everyone says it's Beyonce of the group. Yeah. everyone says that it's not. He's, he's actually saying. not. It's just because the reason why Quiver is different, his voice is different. His voice is an instrumental. It's, it's an instrumental, so he can put he can put Quiver on any track and it will bang of his voice. Yeah, but make Quiver stand by himself. It's just like, ah, eh, you can do better. Then, yeah. Quavo, to me, I'll give the album a five. A five. I've been giving fives out because nothing. I'm not impressed. <laughs> He's not impressed with anything. <laughs> I'm not impressed. Like, you know me. You know what I like. I've seen the videos. Yeah. Five songs, good. Good, good songs. But 19 tracks and five good songs. That's what happened to the other 14s. <laughs> I know. Well, I did, like I said, in, in between that, so like five good songs, like, and they were most of the songs I like were even features, like literally, like That's the one with um, Drake, Flip the Switch vibes. Um, I actually like the one with Takeoff as well. That would be good. Yeah. I, I, I think that's one offset as well. That's good. Uh, yeah, I wasn't too feeling that. Even, I like that yeah, one. Even a song with Madonna. And I was like, I didn't expect that, but it's yeah. like a different vibe. Um, so it did try different things. So this is why I'm starting to like it. The more I, to, I think I may like it more, I know you're giving it five, but that's why I'm giving it six to seven it's like 7.5 because i still see a bit of potential with some of the other songs i just think it's one of those albums that some songs you have to listen to multiple times and also mm. i've realized this with some songs you can hear it on headphones but if you hear it loud in a club it's or a like way. in a different environment it just sounds different that's you have a point you. You have a very and he has songs like that but the overall album it, i have to make effort to like it which is not good i don't i don't push myself to like a song i don't like yeah. it i don't like it no, but i have to give it time too yeah. much time than i would but then I, I don't know if that says something about how impatient we are with songs. We just want to like something straight away. Or maybe this album is not that good. I mean, on that topic of saying you being impatient with a song, yeah. I get that because you have so many songs out there. Yeah. You have songs dropping every Friday, man. 
it, it could be the current state that's yeah. making us come to this conclusion on it. So they're very impatient. You want your son that just bangs straight, straight away. away. Yeah. And that's unfair to the artist sometimes as well. That's what I'm saying. You have to look at it from that. But on this, on, on this quiver matter, mm, I'm sticking with my five. <laughs> I'll give you a few lessons, but I'm sticking with my five. And we go to Take Up's album. Take yeah. Up's album is my favorite. I give that a six point five. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, right. <laughs> so, how many tracks on this album? Let me just start with that. There's twelve. There's there's twelve. Okay. There's twelve. Um, my outtakes. I liked three or four songs out of twelve. It's no take off fan. <laughs> it's not take off fan. No, I listened to. It, I took it in, but. I was interested. I was like, no, no, no. no. <laughs> you hate her. Songs I like to do a Quavo. I must say, I, I'm, I'm not like a Quavo stand or nothing. Like even like I said, the album still like it's not. It's still. It takes a while to get into it. But on Takeoff's album, I like the song Quavo what, the most. Like she, um, I think it's called She Got Wink. Yeah, She Got Wink. That's um, good. That's a good song. And you have like Last Memory. That's a good one as well. Yeah, that's see, that's all right. But that's I'm not feeling it. I would say the thing I've always said about um, albums having more fillers than having songs that kind of t- like actually t- t- take off on you. Yeah. Um, with this, this is one of those albums. I, d- I didn't feel like it was a good album to say. I don't know. Okay. I'm, I want to give it a score, but I don't want t- to... I'll be... <laughs> like okay. F- I'll give it like a free. You want to give it a free? Okay. Like a free, literally. You know why? Do you know why take up's album... Out of 10, do yeah. you know why take up's album is better than Quavo's? Why? Quavo brings the same thing to the table. The same sound, the same everything. Yeah. Take up, you actually, you actually experimented with different sound, different actual voice. Quavo is just Quavo. There was a track on Takeoff's album, and I swear, I feel like it was rushed. It wasn't, I, I don't know if it's where I heard it wasn't mixed properly. I mean, I think the old project was, was rushed anyway. It was out of, like, literally, he out was sync. Sitting, and it was kind of out of sync, the flow, and it just threw me off. And I think it was like track three. So if you're starting an album, when so you first get this me. album, you, you get into it, like, yeah, let me vibe. If I'm hearing some stuff like your ch- your vibing and then the beat is kicking in late, like it, it just didn't work for me. And then it after it just kind of lost the flow of the rest of the track I listened to for me. Like, like it just it threw me off basically. All right, I know where you. Okay. Yeah, you know I get where you're coming from. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sticking with take off. Go take off. To me, take off is the lyricist of Listen, the Migos. Listen, I think I'm going with offset. I'm predicting. No, 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 no. Okay. I, I'm, pre- I'm predi- like, I don't. I don't know you, but I'm predicting. So I'm not. I'm not arguing yeah. with you. We want to talk about the the, the best Migo, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm <sighs> going to put my bet on who. You, okay, no, because that's 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 the reason I'm starting okay. the conversation. So we're trying to get there. What? Where? What's your prediction? Like I'm because what I've seen from t- from Quavo, like I used to be always like on Quavo's like says is the best mm-hmm. like before, but now seeing what he's delivered is I uh, even I I I, I can't see te- um, Offset doing less. Lower than that. I literally mm-hmm. think. Obviously, I'll, it's, it's where I'll put it. I'll put it. Quavo is the face of Migos. Yeah. And Offset is that guy that brings the vibes. The vibes, yeah. Like, that song with Eddie Gucci Mane, that was fire. I think with Met, Met Gala or whatever it's called. Yeah. That was fire. So he's like that guy that brings. It's fun. And Take Off is the lyricist. Lyricist? Yeah. I, I would say. Offset is picking up a bit more steam now, and oh yeah, come I mean, to he's, spot. He's, look his girl, in, like, in, the, in the cover set, yeah, Cardi B. Like, it's, it's got that whole package, yeah. Um, but I'm making predictions right now, so it can't. Well, I I can't. My prediction can't even be like proper solid yet because the albums aren't out yet, so we can't see what he's got to offer. I mean, I've listened to some Offset's solo projects before in the past, like yeah. little missteps here and there. Even dropped. I remember yeah. I heard a track that really like one. It's called Monday. And like that was just that. him on his own, literally, because of his album is gonna be just him. Yeah. So w- we have to judge it like that. Like, I'm not gonna front. I put that. I, I put that song in my playlist. Which song? It's by Take Off. It's, it's, it's by Offset. Offset, yeah. And it came out a while ago. It's, it, even the at work, it's like shoes. It's just like yeah. some Photoshop stuff. I think he has the potential to attain the spot of the best Migos. We just got um. See well, crazy, what he, I feel like crazy thing is, even I, though. I don't think is I don't. It's the best Migos in, in that group but when it comes to game features and just shows and stuff like that. It's Quavo. Quavo. It's the it's the it's the face of the group, and 
mainstream audience they like whoever comments to the rest of the group. No one, fam, no one even take off for for a time. Yeah, everyone's like, because everyone got on me girls after Bad and Bougie, so no one knew what take off, who take off was. Yeah, but a lot of people were rocking with them before with the Bad and Bougie stuff. I yeah, we just kind of gave them the we, mainstream. We were rocking with them. Yeah. Right, so actually, yeah, back in the back day, back in the day, yeah. like other, when I was in like, college, man, mixtapes and stuff. Yeah, even before Drake jumped on, yeah, this, like Versace charging with them, like some people were, were obviously we were already like bumping them. But yeah, yeah, there's I know a song out called Lamborghini as well with Davido. And yeah, I've heard that. I'm not seen too. You know, fair. Is it? Well, I did like his bar, but the, it's the whole song as a whole. Like, I didn't. You know what's magic? Yeah. I know it's something like Davido and Whiskey. Whiskey was featured to it until Offset's album comes out. But when it comes out, they can say, yeah, this is the actual better rapper in the group. When that comes out, we'll be able to judge that. Let's get on that. I mean, let's tell them a question. What do you think is the best Migos? Yeah, actually, yeah. Reply in the um, the comments to so who you think is the best Migos from, like, at the moment. Or you can wait till off, um, Offset drops his album to yeah. judge that. Or, as of now, if you're happy with what Quavo and Takeoff's done, then, you just, yeah, you can just tell us who's your, um, the best Migos. So, yeah. You know what's crazy, about right? Like, when I go out, people don't... Some girls, like, have you had Takeoff's album? I was like, yes. But no one's been like, have you had Quavo's album? Quavo. <laughs> 